started painting when I was eight years old with my mom. We shared our home with elderly people so she could paint, so she could be at home with us kids and teach us how to paint because that was the way of our lives. I create paintings where you want to be and they, it brings you to some other place because there's so much in this world that's dark. You don't have to have it on your walls. You go into a child's room and you see all the colors on the wall. You don't decorate it with black and white. Some people enjoy that. I particularly don't. My collectors don't. They like things that are bright, bold, and colorful. Uh, it's just like I can spot a Barton collector from across the room. You can tell by the way they walk in the room. You can tell by the way they're smiling and they're fun-loving, they're happy-go-lucky. It's just the way they feel. I mean, you know, there's no rhyme or reason, age group, but you can tell by the way people are experiencing life. That's when you know it's a Barton collector. I frame my paintings with foliage all the way around. You'll see the, the palm trees leaning in. It's like you're looking through the bushes. If you peek your head through a bush and then discovering something, that's where I need to be on vacation. That's the place that I need to retire. The canvas is wavy, but you don't stop and see that first. You stop because of the wavy frame. The canvas was made first. It was a canvas that I stretched too tight and it had a bow to it. From one side to the other side of the painting, things look different because it has more movement in the canvas because the canvas literally moves. It's not a flat surface, it's a three-dimensional surface. I struggled from being dyslexic and I was always overwhelmed and, and it was like you can't read and all the, the things that go along with not fitting into the mold. Because when I, when I couldn't read, and I struggled every single day to get that frustration and this frustration that was built up. The only release that I had was to paint. The bold brush strokes. I don't know why people enjoy them so much. I know why I enjoy them. And it is so much fun to create that texture and to be able to put a brush to the canvas and drag four or five colors through a brush. That's why I like it. People seem to respond well to it, but it's one of those things that I enjoy texture. I enjoy the texture. And people are drawn to it. My collectors are drawn to it. I think my work's timeless because everybody always wants to be somewhere else, no matter where they're at in their life. You look at it over your mantle and you go there. I want them to enjoy it. I want their children to enjoy it and their grandchildren to enjoy it. I mean, all artists would love to think their art changes the world. I would just like to change one person and to make them smile in the morning as they walk by.